Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you want to know how I achieve this makeup look, keep on watching. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I was uh, thinking about something uh, vibrant, something a little bit bolder. And uh, for this uh, tutorial I'm gonna use Eat Sleep Makeup Repeat uh, Makeup Palette from Makeup Revolution. So, for start, I'm gonna use as always my Maybelline Skin Erase Prof Skin Instant Pore Eraser. Sorry, my bad. It is a silicone base, and I really love it. So I'm gonna squeeze tube and apply. Now uh, the primer is on, and let's start with the uh, foundation. As always, this is Essence Fresh and Fit Awake Makeup Healthy Glow with Cranberry Water and Vitamin Complex. So I'm gonna use Pump and Half for my face and of course with a beauty sponge. I don't know, I, I always use before um, brushes but now I use uh, beauty sponges and <laughs> I really can imagine life without beauty sponge. So. I believe it's all about um, used to it and uh, your preferences. For concealing I'm gonna use Catrice Camouflage Liquid Concealer and I'm gonna apply onto my eyes, I mean eyelid and under my eyes, sorry. And I'm gonna blend it the best I can, and I know. Oh no, why camera is going to do this? It turns me my background a little bit lighter, a little bit darker. And this is gonna be for my eyeshadow base. And again with a beauty sponge. First I'm gonna use my Catrice eyebrow set. I'm gonna first define my brow and then I'm gonna use a rest of makeup. This is the only mirror that I have. I have one huge mirror above my camera, but I can watch behind camera and recording. I hope you can understand this. And for the for defining my brows, I'm gonna use Essence Make Me Brow uh, mascara for brows. This is in. Uh, Brunette, I believe. No, brown and browns. Brown and brown, sorry. Okay. Now this is this is something really game changing. And the color I will use this is orange and this blue and this shade are Saint Now and Sleep All Day. So this is very pigmenting palette. So I'm gonna use a very gentle hand for applying this eyeshadow. I'm searching the best eyeshadow brush. So I've tried this before and I'm not gonna use a heavy hand for applying this orange or blue eyeshadow. I'm gonna use very gently, very small amount of uh, eyeshadow. So I just slightly touch eyeshadow and tap the excess and apply really, really gently into my crease. Whoa, it seems this is uh, way too much. And I was really, really gently. I, I said really. 
Wow. Boy. With same brush, I'm not gonna dip again uh, into eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna use on the my second eye. You see how this is very uh, the lighter color here. Okay. I was coming back, so I was fix my uh, eyeshadow. It was really in too intense uh, with the rest of my eye, uh, so I was remove uh, all eyeshadow I was apply on the right eye. So I was uh, fix with uh, with concealer and I was fix little bit foundation. And now when I satisfied how uh, eyeshadow looks on both eyes, I'm gonna use sleep all day this really really intense blue eyeshadow so I'm gonna a bit dry brush use this blue eyeshadow and then I'm gonna apply on my mobile lid and I'm gonna build it and build it this color For more intense look, I'm gonna use a uh, bit and white setting spray. Then I'm gonna split just a little bit for picking more intense color. And I'm gonna work this blue into the orange. And again with this uh, crease eyeshadow brush, I'm gonna use just a little bit more orange color. And then I'm gonna blend it all again with my second brush. This is more precise, it has short bristles so it fit me. <sighs> with my shadow brush I'm gonna use this matte white color as my highlight under brown under my brown bone and I was remove a little bit uh, orange eyeshadow because orange eyeshadow is not what I want uh, all the way to my brows and now I'm gonna use my mascara this is Avon 
mascara mark uh, from mark line phenomena volume uh, so i'm gonna apply a generous amount of eyeshadow and then i again i flip over mirror over my palette and of course i can open it For my inner corner, I'm gonna use this light silver shadow with my detailer brush. Just to pop off my eye. Oh, this is tickling me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and this is really, really pretty. Now, for my highlight, I'm gonna use Wet n Wild Goddess Glow Highlighter. And I'm gonna remove all the excess I have. And I'm gonna dab it with my beauty sponge. You see that glow? You see it? And then I'm gonna apply it on the other side. I really love that glow. It's so beautiful. It's not too intense. If you uh, use a uh, red sponge, you can, if you want intense, you can add uh, uh, highlighter over top if you have a um, powder highlighter on the top and this is going to be really really nice and for blush I'm gonna keep it really simple it's gonna be something neutral and I'm gonna use this beautiful uh, warm blush And tap XX this X in my hand. And for lipstick, I'm gonna use Essence. This is a very old Essence lipstick, but I really like uh, how it goes on this uh, bold and vibrant look. This is Velvet Rose. Please, this is bring back this lipstick. Okay, I'm gonna shut up now and <laughs> apply this lipstick. I really love how this turned out. So, for last step, I'm gonna use again Wet n Wild setting spray. And this is the final look.